Welcome to Nursing Simplified, the smart way to survive nursing school. In today's episode, we are going to begin our series on the next generation NCLEX. This series will be great for graduates who are taking their exam for the first time, as well as for those retaking it after being unsuccessful on a previous attempt. Today, we're going to focus on the changes in the scoring methods for the next gen NCLEX. As always, if you would take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. That way, my content will be available to more people just like you. So thank you and let's dive in. Next Gen NCLEX went into effect April 1st of 2023. There are new types and styles of questions or items that will make up about 20% of the exam. However, there are three scoring methods that will apply to all items. You will still have five full hours to test. You can get a minimum of 70 items that are scored plus 15 unscored items. You still won't know during the exam which items are scored and which ones are not, so continue to answer every item as if it were scored. The highest number of items that you can get is 135 items with 15 unscored items. Now let's talk about the three scoring methods that will be used. There are now three different types of scoring on the next gen portion of the NCLEX. And remember, the next gen style questions only make up about 20% of the test. The rest of your questions will be scored in the traditional multiple choice method. The three types of scoring are 0 1 scoring, plus minus scoring, and rationale scoring. Now, let's talk a little bit about each one. The first scoring method is called the 0 1. This is the most straightforward method of scoring and it will feel the most familiar to you. This method will be used on any item that has a specified number of responses. The item will actually tell you how many responses to select if it's more than one. So a question might look something like this, where it instructs you to choose two responses. And remember, We'll be taking a deeper dive into the exact types of items that you will see on the NCLEX and how these scoring methods are used in a future video. But for this scoring method, you will receive one point for every correct response that you select and zero points for any incorrect responses. There are no deductions in this scoring method, so the total number of points you receive for the item will be the total number of correct responses. As a quick example, this question asks us to choose two symptoms that are associated with left-sided heart failure. If you were to choose orthopnea and cough with frothy sputum, you selected both of the correct answers and you get two points, yay. Now, if you were to choose dependent edema and ascites and cough with frothy sputum, you would only get one point. Remember, dependent edema and ascites are associated with right-sided heart failure. But still, yay, as you get partial credit. And if you were to choose dependent edema with ascites and impaired liver function, you would receive zero points for this item because both of those answers are associated with right-sided heart failure. And that's okay, because you'll just make up the points on another item, so not to worry. The next method is the plus minus rule for scoring. And this applies to an item that has multiple correct or incorrect responses. Think your select all that apply questions here. For these items, you will get one point for every correct response and you will get one point deducted for every incorrect response. So your final score in these types of questions will be the total of all your correct responses 
minus the total of all your incorrect responses. You cannot get a score of less than zero. In this example, it's asking us which lab values are used to monitor coagulation. If you choose partial thromboplastin time, prothrombin time, and platelet count, you selected all of the correct answers and you get three points. Now, if you also chose white blood count, that would be an incorrect response. So you still get credit for your correct responses, but you'll lose a point for the incorrect one. So if you chose three correct responses and one incorrect response, your total would be three points for the correct responses minus one point for the incorrect response. Three minus one equals two, so you would get two points for that particular item. Lastly, say you chose partial thromboplastin time and prothrombin time, but you forgot about the platelets. You would still get a point because you chose two correct answers, but forgot one. So you lose a point for the missed answer. The final scoring method is the rationale scoring system. This scoring system will apply to the items that require you to pair items together. These types of questions are meant to test your ability to identify cause and effect. And because of this, you need to select both correct answers to gain a point for these items. So there is no partial credit for these items. If you choose one correct response, but the second choice is incorrect, you get zero points for that item. So remember, they're looking for cause and effect. And what this will look like will be, there will be a statement with blanks and you will drag and drop the correct responses into the blanks. So in this example, the item asks, the nurse determines that the client is experiencing blank as a result of blank. In this case, if you were to choose that hypokalemia would be a result of furosemide, then you chose both the cause and effect correctly and you get one point. However, if you chose hypokalemia being caused by warfarin, the warfarin would be incorrect. So you would receive zero points for this item. Okay, if you've been holding your breath and getting stressed out about this, take a big deep breath in now. It is great that you have a basic understanding of how your NCLEX will be scored. And in future videos, we will review methods of answering the different types of items so you can gain the most points and be the most successful. And in my opinion, this is a better scoring method as you can actually get partial credit for certain items. But don't be hyper-focused on knowing the intricate details of the scoring system. Remember, your job is to concentrate on what really matters, knowing and understanding content so you can be successful on your exams and on your NCLEX. And there you have it. Today we talked about the new ways in which the scoring methods are used on the next gen NCLEX. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we will look at all the different types of items and how the new scoring method will affect how you answer them. And if no one's told you today, please remember you are beautiful, you are needed, you are loved, you are strong, and most of all, dear friends, you are enough. If you liked this video or you learned something, please subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss what's coming next. Now go out there and be the amazing nurse that you were meant to be. And remember, nursing is a work of heart. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.